Hey, this is Mickey from Google Earth Hacks, here to tell you about a new feature on our site called PM Share, short for Placemark Sharing, a system we've designed to make it easier for you to share placemarks. Uh, to get started, simply go to our site up at the top and click on PM Share. You'll be brought to this page. There's two files you'll need to download, and you'll need to be logged into our site to download them simply because they are built dynamically for each user so it can tie to your user ID for you to leave comments and so it'll know who to credit the files to and that sort of thing. So if you're not a member yet, you'll need to join. There'll be a register link there. Once you're registered, we'll go in here and download the two files. The first one is the creation file. This allows you to create files in PM Share. So we'll click that and tell it to get the file. Open it on up in Google Earth. And it loaded up there. And we'll go back and back again and get the browsing file. This lets you browse the other placemarks left by other users. So we will get the file and open it in Google Earth and you see a number of files pop up here. Uh, I should note in Google Earth there's one slight change you should make to your settings. Uh, these scripts will use a little bit of web browsing activity and there's a built-in web browser in Google Earth you can enable which will make that a little more seamless for you. If you go to Tools, Options, and then general, there's a checkbox for show web results in external browser. Make sure it is unchecked and it'll just show the web content we need right inside Google Earth. If you're using Microsoft's new Vista operating system, this feature doesn't work at all. Google's having some issues getting it to work right with Vista, but they say it'll be fixed shortly, so we'll see. So now that we're in here, we will find a new place to mark. So we'll browse around. If you're familiar with Atlanta at all, you're probably familiar with Spaghetti Junction, which looks kind of neat from the air because there's, well, it looks like spaghetti. Roads crisscrossing every which way. Uh, if we have the selector tool enabled, whenever you stop moving the map, after one second, it'll put a little X in the middle of your screen saying, mark this location. So we'll say, yeah, we're right about on Spaghetti Junction. It looks kind of cool. So we'll hit the, click on the X to mark the location and say, yes, we'd like to mark it. It'll pop open a little web browser, which, again, it knows who you are because of the special network link you already downloaded. So we'll tell it, oops, we'll tell it the name of this location. We'll just call it Spaghetti Junction. And type in crazy intersection of a few highways in Georgia. And scroll down and hit Submit. Uh, it's important to realize that the distance you are zoomed out in Google Earth will be reflected in the distance it's zoomed out in Google Maps. So get to an appropriate distance before you click mark this location. It'll remember approximately that distance in Google Maps. Google Maps, of course, can't zoom to the fine specific distances. It has a number of set distances, but it'll, our script will make it pretty close for you. So you can check, and there it is. Uh, if we want to send this to a friend, just an easy way to send placemarks to a friend, we can just click that link, give us their name, and email address Oops. and we don't we don't track any of this or anything we'll just generate an email with a link to that file and send it out to them we don't save any of that data or of course use their email for anything bad so we'll submit and it'll send that email on out message sent so we can close this little window now and we still have the browsing tool enabled and you'll see boop there it pops up spaghetti junction is there now so we can turn off the selector tool for now since we don't need it and we'll click on spaghetti junction to see what it does and it pops up a little thing saying when it was added in the description. And we can leave a comment about it right here from within Google Earth. So we'll click to leave a comment. And it pops open that little window again at the bottom and say, um, thank goodness I don't have to drive through here very often. It's a crazy place to go. Uh, so we'll submit. Thanks for your comment. So that's done. We can close it again. And now if we click on Spaghetti Junction, we'll see the comment right in line there and it'll keep doing those. There are links to report inappropriate comments if someone is doing naughty things on there. Same with uh, if the item is spam, people are just putting the garbage items up there. Another link to send the file to a friend or you can view the item on our site which is of little value once you're in Google Earth since you're already seeing the item but it's there for you anyhow. Uh, going to the site we'll see now. We'll go back to the main PM share page and if you scroll down you can view the gallery of items we have it kind of tucked at the bottom because the better way to view it is with the browsing file, but you can view them on our site if you wish. You notice the newest item is Spaghetti Junction that we just added. We can click on it, and it'll show a Google map of the area, very similar to the one we saw in line after we added it. Added it. You can download the file. There's the comment that we made on Google Earth is already reflected here. 
Um, another neat feature we just added, if you click on the user's name, you'll be taken out to their profile in our forums, but there's a link here. Mickey's contributed this many files to our main database and 18 to our PM share. If you click on the 18 files here, it'll show you the files that I've added personally, and you can do this for any user. Um, you'll see there's my little avatar from in the forums, but if I click on this download a network link to show all the files by Mickey, and we open that up, and actually, at this point now, you'll see it's overlaid with the other one because we have both network links open. So we'll close the normal browsing tool. And if we zoom on out, you'll see just the files that I've added represented by my avatar from the forum. So if you haven't created a little avatar, you can go to the forums into the user control panel and upload a little picture for yourself. And that'll be reflected if people download your personal collection of KML files. And again, with any of these, you can click on it to get the information. Double click in to zoom. And it's a fun little feature. So check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the forums or shoot me an email. This is Mickey from Google Earth Hacks. Enjoy.